Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video. I know there's been a lot. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone who's watched thus far. We have one last look. It's the brand new Blue Hush Batman, and of course it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys for this early advance look. Batman, this particular one, coming from the storyline of the same name, Hush. And on the back side, you got really cool Hush artwork. Now I gotta say, this packaging is a little bit deceiving. There is no gargoyle acting as this water spout designed to drain water from the parapet gutter. And there's certainly no graphic gothic architectural background for my Batman to be displayed in front of. You gotta do better, McFarlane. Anyways, here's the barcode for when these start to hit store shelves. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you should start to see them popping up in February. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early advanced look at the upcoming McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, The Blue Hush Batman. And while I got all you clay faces or Jason Todd's or whatever that turned out to be at the end, Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. And no, we're not going off the animated in any way, shape, or form. Riddler, no. God, no, as hush. <laughs> Anyways, here is Batman all out of the packaging. And I gotta say, I like what it sees because in terms of his accessories, this is a Batman that comes with Batarangs. Two Batarangs. And that is perfect for me. As I've always said, Luke Skywalker needs a lightsaber. Spider-Man needs webbing. And Batman needs his Batarangs. He also comes with fisted hands. Now, one of these contains the kryptonite ring from Hush when he clocked Superman to snap him out of whatever Poison Ivy was doing. I don't actually have that figure. I know that was a gold label on McFarlane Toys' website. I just didn't care for the face portrait and didn't buy it. But it's nice to have the kryptonite ring. Now, one caveats to that is while you get two fisted hands the gloved hands are different from the other hands that you can apply so the batarang holding you see the difference i just really wish that they matched a whole heck of a lot better blue bats now this is a figure we've definitely seen before there's nothing new here except for that awesome head portrait he's got going on now now that is that's a good looking batman head portrait i like the eyes you got a little gray under the eyes a little black you got some nice Neck rotation, I'm okay with the articulation, except for the fact that it sports the old articulation with the ball-jointed ankles. So, it would have been nice. They do have properly painted gloves this time around. Remember when I did this tutorial on the Batman vs. Hush? Why did I waste all that time? I don't know. My God. But anyways, he's got pins. He's got the old articulation. So, that's one thing where I'm like, eh. And I'm just going to tell you right now. Well, he does have a nice cape, when seeing the blue on this figure, it's more of a teal green blue. It's a lot more green than shows up. When you see it in hand, you'll see what I mean. But it's blue enough. Like, it matches the hush. But don't be surprised when you see it. You go, oh, okay, I see what he's kind of talking about there. But overall, I will tell you this. I'm really into the whole blue Batman. Black and gray used to be my Batman colors for years and years. I'm really digging blue and gray Batman. I think that that's really cool. That's just where I am in life, right? Blue and gray Batman. Again, standard articulation for this figure. He is kind of back heavy when you want to stand him, and the ball joints right here certainly don't help. But that new articulation on some of the figures we've been looking at recently, that's where it is at. Not much of an ab rotation. He just looks good. We'll just say that in any capacity as Batman. Now, Keep in mind, he might be a little bit tall as Batman, though. That's one caveat, I think, to these figures. But when you have the whole fisted hand with the kryptonite ring, well, it doesn't take much, does it? Right? So you can totally reenact that scene a little bit. But like I said, with the height differences, now I really like this blue Batman. I really like the Superman. But we need a new Superman to be taller than Batman at this point. But with Batman and this Red Robin, or you know what I'm saying, the inevitable 90s Tim Drake Robin. Also, keep in mind, the Batarangs are different. So Robin's got his own style, Batman's got his own style. No reuse, I like that. Nice little touch there, McFarlane Toys. And you might as well call this the Bat Multiverse, right? I'm not even joking you, there's a ton of Batmans in this line. And I gotta tell you that these are a couple of my favorites, also a couple ones I just grabbed 
just so some differences here and there. One of them lights up. But I really like the Speeding Bullet's body for Batman. I would like a standard Batman, perhaps a blue and gray Batman. And I really like the Speeding Bullet's blue as opposed to this Hush blue. But if you were wondering, the previously released black and gray, as you can see right here, different head portraits. Yeah, they actually fixed the gloves this time around to bring that up again. So much wasted time there. But you can see the differences. There's not many. But I like the blue one better. And especially with the villains in terms of the height of this Batman, I think it works a little bit better. Even though I don't know why the black and the gray one didn't work for me before. I always thought he was way too tall. This one seems to fit in better, but it's the exact same figure. Go figure. We're all nuts. But... I really like the way he stacks up with Mr. Freeze and the new Catwoman, Joker, Bane. He looks good with all the rogues. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Blue Hush Batman. And of course, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to say that for 2023, I would like more of an updated Batman. Don't go, well, can't say that. You can't go, oh, don't go crazy with Batman. Batman sells. Batman helps fund the line. Everything else. But a more standard light blue and gray, maybe like a 70s, 80s-ish Batman. I think that would be kind of cool. We got year two, but the articulation needs to be updated. That would be my two cents. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, again, to everyone who watched all my DC Multiverse videos this week, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm sure we'll have more later. Uh, most likely, most definitely. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.